Hello and welcome. Do you have people in your life that it's a little bit hard to come up with gift ideas for? I have a few of those and I don't know, like in the middle of the night, I woke up for just a second and I'm like, aha, <laughs> I have a brilliant idea and I'm going to share that with you. So stay tuned. All right, now sometimes those brilliant ideas in the middle of the night will keep you up until you just get up and do something about them. But I knew I could share this with you today, so I was able to go back to sleep. Long story short, Alpine Bank, that's a local bank here in Colorado, released a calendar that has a bunch of people's artwork in it. And I thought that was so cool. And I thought, you know what? I could do my artwork in a calendar for those hard to buy for people on the list. And that would be my father-in-law, my mother-in-law, a few aunts and uncles. And I will probably give one to the few people in my life that I know would actually really appreciate it. My best friend, my grandma. I'm sure there's more people I'm not thinking of. <laughs> So at first I thought, is there gonna be enough artwork that I really, really like that I could fill 12 pages of a calendar with? And I wasn't sure. So I went through all my work and there was way more work than I thought. Thanks to this YouTube channel, I have way more finished pieces than I realized. And I'm so grateful for that. And I'm thankful to you guys because you guys keep me going. Let's show you what artwork I picked out for this calendar and a few details about how to do it. So this is the stack of artwork that I've chosen that I think I will put in the calendar. So this is the cabin painting I did. I'll link all of these videos for these particular paintings in the description box below because it'll be too many for the eye card in the corner. So I have to choose between this Kingfisher painting or my abstract dog in the day before yesterday's video. So I'm not sure what I'll do on that one. This will be a great one for the October month. That's with Roman small paints. This is just awesome in general. It's like my favorite painting ever. So I'll put that in there. My baby, because I like it. I will crop this and do a portion of this because the pages kind of need to be a certain aspect ratio and this is all wrong, but I want part of it in there. My old truck, this old truck, my old man. I picked the core version out of all four of these paintings. I had chosen between Mission Golden Core and I think for the calendar the core is just a little bit more standy outy. <laughs> How do you like that term? <laughs> anyway, core for that. My alcohol ink painting of the turtle just because it's pretty and bright and I like it. And of course my Mount Sopris painting. Those are the ones that I'm going to put in my calendar. So a few housekeeping items. I keep saying that in these videos, but there's things that, that are important. First of all, we have to take good pictures of all of these. And I have decent pictures from my thumbnails and stuff, but I wanna make sure I get real good ones. So on the ones that are a little bendy, see how they kind of roll up in the corners? I will stick tape for a moment flatten it to the desk and then take a good picture. And I like doing pictures outside, but I think for this, I'm going to just use these two daylight lights I have on each side. Take a picture with my cell phone because my cell phone actually takes the best pictures, transfer them to the computer and stick them in a calendar. That's also why my backdrop is empty because most of the paintings that I have down here on my desk were back there. Well, several of them were anyway. Anyway, housekeeping item is this is about the size that a normal calendar is, and this is that Alpine Bank one I was talking about. It's about eight and a half by 11 inches, but I have a color laser jet printer that I'm going to print these out on. It's about out of toner. So I am not going to be printing eight and a half by 11 size calendars for everyone because I'm afraid I'll run out of toner and that's like a $200 bill to get new toners for that. <laughs> new toner cartridges for that. Yeah, so basically I'll be making half size calendars and I've done that before. I used to do calendars every year for all my family with our family photos throughout the year and that was really fun, but I haven't done that in a long time. I think it just got old and there was only one person that really appreciated it anymore. And so now we'll try this with the artwork. I think it'll be fun. A lot of work though to take pictures of all of these and make sure they're good and you gotta crop them and you gotta make the calendar. We're doing it. Here you can see that I have transferred all the photographs from my cell phone over to my computer. Now I'll be opening them up in my image editing software so that I can rotate them, crop them, and do any color corrections as needed so that they look as close to they do in real life as possible. Here are the images all cropped. You can see I added a new folder for the uncropped ones in case I wanna change anything about their crop. Now all of these won't fit on the calendar page quite the same or quite right, so I may do more cropping later, but we'll see. This only took about 10 minutes to get all these rotated cropped, and I only had to adjust this baby one for the color and the old man. Oh, maybe that one. So I think that one too. It didn't come through quite right, so I think because it has more of a white background or something, so 
Not too bad, let's get the calendar going. You can see here that I have cheated just a little bit. I went back to one of my really old calendars and found where the date starts on the same day of the week. So this year coming up, 2021, January 1st starts on a Friday and I made sure that there was no leap year or anything weird like that in February. So it's all the same and all I have to do is change these dates and the pictures with my artwork. And you can see I'll just go through and change them for the whole year. And I'm doing them half page like this. I'll cut them apart, bind them. I have my own binder. We'll have great little calendars without using a lot of toner because the images will be kind of small. I can adjust these calendars to be smaller so that the picture itself could be bigger if I want it to be. So I can just take the whole thing and make it smaller like that. And I could make my image larger and I can also put the month name down here in the blank space where there is blank space. So I will finish that up and I'll show you how it looks at the very end. Ta-da! My images are all in the calendar. I think I got all the dates changed over. We will click through and just double check here and now we just have the hardest part left which is the printing. So my color laser jet printer doesn't print images really really well but I do have a special kind of paper that I have tried printing images before and it works pretty decently. So we will go put that paper in and cross our fingers and I will show you how it looks when it comes out of the printer. Gulp. <laughs> Wish me luck. All of the pages, which I will show you later, came out looking really, really nice except for the baby. The baby didn't come out at all. So I'm going to redo that in the image editing software and replace this picture and reprint it and hopefully get that baby looking like it does in real life, which is actually much nicer than this. I don't know what happened. We're gonna figure it out. All right, here are all the attempts I have tried at this baby printing, and apparently the colors this was painted with are really hard for my printer. So here is the one I originally didn't like. It's just too dark and just wrong, and I don't know what that line is. So I changed it to be like more like the original. I don't know, it didn't work. So I upped the saturation here and it's way too red. So then I thought, well, maybe this one is better. It just needs to be brighter. So here's the bright one and it's still not great, but I think I'm going to have to call it good on that. I just, I can't get the colors to match real life on my printer. It looks great on the monitor. All of these look good on the monitor. Even the original one looked good on the monitor. It's just not printing well. So my color laser jet printer is having issues. I think we'll just go with this one, kind of like this one, but this one's brighter. We'll go with one of these two and just print them, be done. Here's how they all came out printed. I'm gonna show you each page and then move on. They look pretty good for a color laser jet, which is not really meant to print photographs. Ah, I'm pretty happy with these. Last thing to do is cut these apart, bind them, and put covers on them. So I will show you what they look like once I do that. Hey, here's one calendar completely put together and I recommend you do that before you print a whole bunch because there are issues with this. This is one I'll keep for myself just to have as a record, but you can see that the border on the right and the left sides are different. And I think this is the case because maybe when I moved the calendar to a smaller size, I didn't quite get the borders in the exact same place they were before. Or the fact that I haven't printed this calendar, I think since 2014, and the computer may be different, the printer settings may be different, margins, I mean, who knows? With the software updates, I'm using like Office 365 or something instead of what was the old one, Office 2000? I'm not sure. So I will, before I print these for family, adjust them so that they are exactly even on each side. This one's okay. In fact, this side's a little bit wide on this one. So I just need to go through these one by one. That one's perfect. And uh, do little adjustments, make sure everything's right. See, that one's way off. I think the pictures look great though. So I think we've got a win there. And you know, that probably wouldn't bother most people, but it bothers me having the edges off like that. And I might even put a border around them. Never done that before, but I think it might look nice as long as the printer will actually print it correctly, then we'll be set, but I'm liking it. And that was the last blue binding that I had. The rest are all black and I use a very simple binding machine here. If you ever wanna see how that works, let me know. I don't know where the box is. I think I left it in the office, but 
I will link it down below. So this is what they're going to look like except perfect. Maybe with a border. I'm not sure. Maybe not. I'm going to print a bunch of these for A, the people that will appreciate them, first of all, and B, those that were kind of hard to get for us. Yeah, whether they appreciate them or not, I don't know what to get them. This is what they're getting. Here, I thought it would be fun to show you the finished product. Here's two more. This is a reject because I didn't cut the binding big enough. One doesn't have the front, and the front of these is simply a lamination sheet that I ran through the laminator with nothing in it, and then I cut it apart and also cut it to be bound here so it is somewhat protected when it's all closed up. All right, I know this won't be my most popular video, but it is Vlogmas after all, and this is what I was doing today, and I'm sharing that with you, so welcome to my life today. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you got some value out of this. I hope you thought some of it was interesting at the very least, and they turned out pretty cool for the most part, right? So good Christmas idea if you need one. If you would like to see more of how I do things like this, let me know in the comments below. Thank you, see you tomorrow. Long story short, I thought it would be really fun. Hang on, for the eye cor the. So I am not going to pray. <laughs> great present for those hard to buy people, and that is why we are doing it. Get on it, hurry up already. Come on, printer. Come on, printer, finish your calibrating or whatever you're doing. Anyway, these got all dusty, so don't leave those out on the shelf, not in a package, by the way. I won't tell you what I found under the binding machine. <laughs> you don't wanna know. Seriously, how long do you calibrate for and why right now? Dipped hard, printer. Mm -hmm.